Hey, 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 closet dwellers and closet busters, guess what? It's Friday. Friday the 13th. And it's also time for another Uncloseted Riff and Rant. I'm your host, Rick Clemens, the coming out coach and the bold move expert. And I'm so glad you're here with me this Friday. And I hope that Friday the 13th goes really, really well with you. And if it doesn't, well, be ready to do something really scary. Forgive it. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. No, not forgiving Friday the 13th. Well, it could be. If you have a really crappy Friday the 13th, you might want to forgive it. But I wanted to talk about forgiveness today because, well, I've been going through a little bit of forgiving um, over the last few weeks with a lot of different things. And it just made me think, you know what? This is one of the hardest freaking things for us humans to do is to forgive. In fact, I remember standing, staring at them livid tears running down my face and I finally said you know what if you cannot accept me for who I am a gay man and know that this is who I am and no more of this love the sinner not the sin then I have no need to have a relationship with you I uttered those words to my parents a few years ago and I remember walking away and somewhat feeling pretty proud that I finally said my piece, but then also realizing I may never have another relationship with him ever again. The good news is, is we have healed and fought and challenged and healed and challenged again and fought again and challenged again and fought again. And we finally come to a place where I believe we actually do respect each other. And where we both have forgiven each other in our own ways. You see, for me, what I realized was in that moment, I was becoming my dad. And that scared the crap out of me. I was. I was acting just like he did. It's either this way or no way at all. And that was the first time I really started to grasp the full power of forgiveness. Because you see, what I saw was my dad had a value system. And that value system is what led to his thoughts, his beliefs, which then led to his actions. It wasn't about the physical form. It wasn't about the human body that he he inhabited the human body was just reacting to the thoughts the beliefs the values all that stuff that my father holds to be true for him and my mother the same way but what we forget sometimes is we need to start somewhere different in the forgiveness path we say oh i forgive you and over the years what i've finally learned is when i'm dealing with something where i'm like frustrated and i'm angry and there's been a few times in the past few weeks that i've been there and I'm like, okay, I just need to work through this with this person or this situation. Here's where I start. It's a three-step process. What I start with is I'm going to forgive the value or the belief. Now, I'm not saying I'm accepting the value or belief of that person. I'm just saying I'm going to forgive it because the value or the belief, I believe, drives the next thing, which is the thought or the action. Now, it actually probably is the thought that creates the action. So the value of the belief that that person holds then leads to the thought and the action that they take. Three steps. Value, belief, thought, action. It's the action of what someone does that needs to be forgiven. Which, yes, in turn means you're forgiving the person. But think about this. If we take and separate it out, and again, this is just my theory, so if you don't buy into it, cool, no problem. I forgive you. <laughs> Unintended there, okay? But think about it. If someone's value and belief is X, it causes them to have this thought, which then leads them to take this action. Pretty powerful stuff. So as you go into your weekend, I'm going to invite you to think about who do you need to forgive, starting with yourself. What are the values and beliefs that you hold to be true, the thoughts and actions that you then take based on those values and beliefs? Because the best place to learn how to forgive is to start with you.
you, 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 you. Yes, little old you, you got to learn to forgive first so that you can forgive others. And once you start there, start with forgiving your own values and beliefs, your thoughts, your actions that come from those values and beliefs. It might just mean you got to change a little bit around your values and beliefs. So that's it. Another episode of Life Uncloseted Riffs and Rants. I'm Rick Clemens, the big, bold move maker, expert guy that helps you make those big, bold moves, the coming out coach, the guy who never wants you to stop stepping out, stepping up, and stepping into living your life uncloseted. Have a great weekend, everyone, and we will catch you real soon with another episode in just a few days. Take care. Bye.